and the neighborhood where Joanna Coates lives is plagued by crime and poverty. Tonight, worried residents met to talk about it. Coates Street, LaSalle, falls within the Lyle Avenue neighborhood on the city's northwest side, and that's where Christian Garzon joins us now live. Christian, you went to that meeting tonight. What happened? Uh, Maureen, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of complaints. The group met here at the Lyle Branch Library, and they're hoping this is the first of several forums to bring about real change in the community. The abduction of Joanna Coates didn't just send LaSalle Street into a spiral. It impacted the entire northwest quadrant of the city, an area that has been plagued with various problems for years. That's why this group met tonight. The first thing we see is when we come outside is a prostitute standing in front of your home. Clean up the streets. Get, get rid of all this drugs and the prostitution. And you can't even go to the corner stores without being attacked. I mean crime after crime after crime. Silvano Orsi, the leader of the Little Italy Association, led the meeting. He feels the way to fix the lawlessness and revitalize the area is to align with the city and promote more policing. We don't want to see the crime here anymore, the prostitution, drugs, the violence, the kidnappings, the drug paraphernalia on the ground, the needles. But beyond an increased police presence, they know a fresh facelift and jobs will draw people who don't want trouble. It would be much more safer for, for us, for our children, for our families. Some in the coalition felt the neglected crime-filled environment Lyle Ave has become led to yesterday's alleged kidnapping of Joanna Coates by Robert Gonzalez. That gentleman, I understand, was right from here in the Lyle Corridor. It, Orsi adds the lives of thousands of people are on the line here in the Northwest Quadrant. He's hoping the coalition's push to end things like yesterday's kidnapping, drug abuse, kidnapping can bear some fruit. Maureen? All right, Christian Garzon reporting tonight. And we should mention, as far as Coates' abduction, we will continue to cover it now that this case is entering the court system.